Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you uh, a lovely feature of uh, Dreamweaver CS6 which is the transitions panel. Before I actually take you deeper into uh, this subject let me first show you uh, a preview. Okay, So guys we have two coins out here, um, half a rupee coin and a 25 pesa coin. Okay, And uh, the moment I hover over the text you can actually see that uh, it flies upwards and uh, it gives you a description about the coin the same happens when I take it over the uh, other text on the other coin okay so um, guys uh, this was done using the transition CSS uh, 3 transitions okay pretty cool uh, and pretty easy to make trust me on that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replicate the same effect in a new different separate files so that you will get a much better idea if I do uh, if I do things from scratch Okay, so let's start. Let's say file new. I'll select the page type to be HTML, the layout to be none. Okay, I'll keep the doc type to be uh, XHTML1 transitional. I'll make sure that the layout is being added to the CSS is being added to the head, which is fine. Okay, let me say create. All right, let me save the file up. That's the first thing that I'll do. But before that, let me give it a title. Let's say transitions transitions panel okay and uh, let me copy it up let me say file let me say save let me give it the same name transitions panel let me say save all right so the first thing that I'll do is I'll say insert I'll say layout objects div tag let me go to the class and uh, let me give it a class of rel rel for relative okay let me click on the new CSS rule button the uh, the contextual selector will be set to class automatically and uh, the the name for the selector will be a period uh, or a dot and then rel okay right uh, and uh, the css will be getting saved inside this document only the head of the document that is let me say okay and uh, then i'll go to the box category guys i'll define a width of 200 a height of uh, Take a pardon a height of 200 as well that's pixels all right let me set the float to be a left uh, let me also go to the border let's make it solid let's make it thin as well and let me give it a color let's say a pound sign triple three right okay I think I'm pretty much done except that I'll go to positioning and I'll make sure that the positioning for the you know this um, for this rule or the contextual selector of this class should be set to an uh, a, a relative let me then say okay and okay once again guys as you can see it has actually thrown a division with the class rel okay cool guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy line number 18 so a control C out here I'm gonna hit enter and paste it again all right very very cool so instead of having one div uh, you know we have two dev side by side side by side be because I've actually set the float to a left guys as you can actually see here I'm gonna make one more change I'm gonna double click out here I'm gonna go to the box category once again and uh, let me give it a margin of let's say 10 pixels all around as well let me say okay uh, that will uh, make sure that the two divs or the divisions are a little separate from each other cool guys next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the uh, div which is on the left hand side okay and then I'm gonna insert one more div so a div within a div so insert layer objects div tag this time uh, let me give it a class of apps apps for absolute let me, let me click on the new css rule button the contextual selector will be automatically set to class the name will be uh, a period or a dot or a full stop abs okay uh, the rule will be getting saved in the head of the document let me say okay and this time let me first go to the background color let me give it a background color of let's say rgb i'm going to use the rgb color model guys css3 so 100 comma 100 comma 100 comma let's say 0.7 all right uh, let me go to the type category let me set the color to be a white that's the font color guys let me set the font size to be let's say a 20 all right let me say I would want the font to be let's say Georgia font size uh, 
font weight let me set it to bold okay and uh, let me go to the positioning category guys let me set the position to an absolute basically what I'm doing is I'm I'm placing a div which is absolute inside a div which is uh, relative once I set something to an absolute guys I can use the placements and I can place it wherever I want let me place it at 170 pixels from the top okay let me say okay and okay once again and uh, <coughs> Uh, oh, there, there was one more change that I needed to make. Let me go back to the rule. Let me go to the box category. I needed to set the width and the height equal to 200 each as well. So that's a 200 and a 200 out here as well. Let me say OK. And uh, guys have a look out here. This is the outer div and this is the inner div. Okay. Since the inner div is uh, an absolute div uh, using the top property which I have set 270 makes sure that the inner div is actually displaced uh, 170 pixels from the top cool uh, let me go back to this rule which is uh, the uh, dot rel class okay let me double click let me go to the box category positioning and then let me set the overflow to a head and I'll tell you what will happen let me say okay the moment I set the overflow to a head and you can actually see guys um, if I go to the live view that anything extra anything extra uh, that is outside the division with the, with the height uh, for which is 200 uh, um, will get chopped off will not show up since I've said the uh, overflow hidden okay but uh, to check that you have to be in the live view guys let me come with the live view the moment I come with the live view guys you can actually see that uh, the inner div is now showing through completely but that does not happen when you're in the uh, live view live view is uh, very close to the real view in fact let me show you the real view in uh, Google Chrome let me save ch the changes up to the file and uh, guys uh, as you can actually see the inner div which is absolute which is inside another div which is relative now that's a trick that we use very often okay to set uh, an absolute element inside uh, a relative element you can see uh, since we had set the uh, uh, overflow to a hidden it uh, you know the inner div doesn't show up completely which is cool and exactly what I wanted let me go back to dream beaver <coughs> also guys let me go back to this absolute rule let me double click out here let me go to the box category once again I would also I uh, wanted to have a padding of 10 pixels all around which is cool let me say okay all right since guys I've given it a padding of 10 pixels I need to make sure you can see that the boundary is being overshot out here I need to make sure that the width needs to be decreased by 20 pixels each on either side so I'll have to make it 180 as well all right and if this becomes 180 the height needs to go down by 20 pixels as well so that'll be 182 now uh, the uh, the inner div uh, is actually 200 by 200 taking into account uh, the 10 pixels of padding all around all right very very cool okay also guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the text here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my earlier file and let me get the text from there let me copy it from there so that's a control that's a copy or alternatively you can use control C guys and then let me you know place it out here a control V okay so let me go to the live view uh, momentarily to show you how things look like right now so very very cool guys uh, now what I'll do is uh, I'll also make sure that uh, you know this div actually contains the picture of the coin so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that uh, here in line number 32 let me click uh, out here just after the division with the class rel okay and then let me say insert let me say image let me uh, select uh, the uh, relevant image which is this one let me skip the alternate text for the moment it's okay it's not a good habit though right we all understand that and uh, let me go to the live view to show you how things look like right now okay uh, I think I have a problem with the top position it's been set to uh, 170 let's let's try 
160 yeah that's that's a lot better okay 160 is a lot better which is fine okay I also need to make sure that I have a, a coin out here in the uh, div on the right hand side so okay as you can see the cursor is positioned at the right place let me say insert image I have to be off the live view first so insert image let me select the other image which is this one uh, skipping the alternate text although it's not a good habit but just for this uh, example okay and then guys uh, what I need to do is I need to place some text out here in the second division as well so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna copy this bit of text okay I'm gonna place it out here all right so what I've done is I've actually placed uh, one division inside another uh, one with the class absolute inside another division with the class relative let's see the result okay except that I need to change the text now which is not relevant to this uh, coin so let me delete this text and let it let me get it uh, from the earlier file that I'd made okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this bit of text okay that's a copy go back to my new file and let me paste it out here okay so right now we have um, the text relevant to the two coins guys which is uh, perfectly all right let me go to the live view and show you how things actually look like all right now okay pretty cool uh, pretty nice uh, exactly the way I actually wanted things to be all right now I have to actually start using the uh, transitions okay so I'll be using the uh, uh, transitions panel before that let me just quickly explain what I've actually done so far okay now guys have a look out here this is the body of the HTML document then we have a div with a class rel uh, the positioning has been set to a relative out here after which guys we have inside the division uh, image of a coin and then some text and that text is inside a div with a class uh, set to apps or absolute see once you set an element which is an absolute inside uh, another element which is relative then you can use the uh, positioning guys you can use the top position bottom position left and right positions right and that's exactly what I uh, what I've used okay and what I've done out here is I've replicated the same uh, structure so another div with a class rel and uh, then we have an image and then another uh, div inside uh, which has the class apps apps for absolute all right so making sure that an absolute element inside a uh, relative element let me go see I'm already in the live view and guys since the top position has been set to 160 it leaves 160 pixels from the top and then the other div shows up cool so now all I need to do is um, let me first save the document I need to show you how I can uh, make the transition actually happen so <coughs> this is the CSS uh, transitions uh, panel guys uh, in order to bring it up what you can do is you can go to window and you can go to CSS uh, transitions right so let me go to CSS transitions and let me click on the plus button to create a new transition the first thing that uh, I would need to tell it is uh, which rule to target so basically uh, there are quite, quite a number of rules out here I, I need to make I need to tell Dreamweaver that the rule uh, that you should be targeting is or the class you should be targeting is the apps uh, apps class all right so what exactly would I want uh, the transition to happen on on the hover state so basically when somebody hovers over the uh, element which has a class set to apps is when I would want the transition to happen it's asking me would you want to use the same transition for all the properties I'm gonna use a few, few properties and actually I would want to use the same transition for all the properties uh, basically when I say the same transition means the same duration delay the timing function etc so yes uh, for my example I would want it to be the same for all, all the properties that I'm gonna use although we have another option which is use a different transition basically use a different uh, duration delay etc but uh, for my example uh, I'm happy to go with uh, the first option use the same transition for all, all the properties that I'm gonna use okay <coughs> 
um, so so uh, let me show you how do I go about it so let me uh, select the first property and uh, I would want it to be the top property basically as I said uh, the class apps has a uh, has been set to absolute and once something is absolute inside a relative uh, element guys you can then use the top the bottom the left and the right properties okay and what do I really want the new value or the end value I would want it to be a zero pixels earlier if you remember guys it was set to 160 pixels from the top now I would want it to be bang uh, where the top is okay the duration I would want it to be a 0.75 uh, seconds although uh, I can give you know give it in terms of milliseconds as well okay I don't want any delay for the transition I would want the transition to happen immediately and let's say I would want a uh, ease out to happen uh, when the transition is uh, happening okay I'm not going to take you into the detail of what exactly is ease and ease out uh, but it actually makes the animation looks very cool and smooth right so um, let's say create uh, transition and let's see uh, exactly what has happened so far okay uh, now the transition seems to be happening just the way I want it except that I find an aberration with the second coin let me just check what's gone wrong out here okay okay cool I've actually figured out what's gone wrong you see in line number uh, 48 two classes have been applied to this division the rel and the apps uh, it should actually only be uh, the apps let me remove the rel from here okay so somehow uh, you know it acquired the class of uh, rel also along with the apps which shouldn't have happened anyways now it should be all fine yes it is uh, I'm in the live view and guys you can actually see see uh, the moment I hover over uh, both the coins you can actually see that uh, how beautifully and smoothly you know the the text is going over uh, the coin which is which is pretty cool except that if, uh, uh, I find that the, uh, the size of the text is a little too much so let me bring it down so let me click on the rule which is uh, the class which is apps let me decrease the, the font size so let's try let's try 18 this time um, let's let's go down further let me try 16 okay but if I try 16 guys I would also want the top position to be set to 170 let's try 170 yep that's that's looking cool all right okay so very very cool uh, uh, it's, it's really looking cool but I just need to make uh, a few more modifications so what I'll do is I'll go back to the CSS transitions panel I'll click on the hover state okay so we have already applied a property called top there's one more property that I need to apply okay let me click on the plus button let me say background color this time and as far as the end value is concerned uh, let me say RGBA so basically using the red green blue alpha model okay which is CSS3 I can use that and let me say 200 comma 200 comma 200 uh, comma and then let's say 0.8 uh, so basically I'm uh, changing the background color for the class apps okay let me say save transition and let's see what difference has it actually made okay guys as you can actually see that uh, the background color for the uh, element with the class apps is actually changing which is pretty cool but at the same time I would uh, need to change the color for the uh, text as well so let's make that change let me click on this uh, option called hover okay so that I can add uh, one more property so let's say plus let me say color this time okay uh, since I'm using the same transition for all the properties the duration the delay and the timing function which is ease out is all the same which is fine but for the end value of the color let me make it black instead of white okay let's say save transition and let's see how things look like right now okay cool exactly the way I actually wanted so basically uh, let me uh, have a look in the browser now let's go with Chrome let's let me preview things in Chrome cool so these are the two coins guys and uh, when I hover over you can actually see that it slides up right to the top okay the color for the text changes the background color changes as well 
uh, in accordance with the text color okay and the same thing happens with the other text as well so so pretty cool guys uh, i i hope you uh, love, you know uh, learned a lot from this tutorial you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you very soon with yet another reviewer uh, uh, tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace